She's like, oh, so how's it being unemployed? And I made the mistake of answering, uh, I answered honestly. And uh, I was like, oh, it's, it's like the best. And uh, that was the wrong answer for her. She didn't want, that's not what she wanted to hear. That's not what she wanted to hear. She was like, so you're gonna think about like getting a job soon? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. Like I'm still not getting it at all. And, yeah, you know. She's like, when are you going to start thinking about it? I was like, uh, oh, now, I guess, because of this conversation. Um, so I got a new job, been house-sitting for my mom. And I've uh, been house-sitting for two years now, actually. So, yeah, she also lives in the house while I house-sit. So. It's pretty good. You guys have any children that live with you? Yeah, you do? How many? How old are they? What's up? You have six kids living with you? How old are they? 30 and 40, they're all your kids? 30 to 45? I'm 25, I'm doing great, oh my god. That made me feel so much better. Good, thank god, dude. Are they dating, are they married, are they? <laughs> yeah, they're not married? Oh, is that one of them? Is that one of your kids? Yeah. I don't think she heard you, but sure. Um, this isn't fun, is it? We're gonna, but it's gonna be fun. Give me one minute, it's gonna be fun. I got a lot of cool stuff. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm trying to do this, bro. Man. Also, her dog just got cancer, which was. Sucks for the dog, but also simultaneously sucks for me because that really puts a wrench in my plan completely. I was, uh, it's hard to date somebody when your dog is dead with dog cancer. I've never wanted to cure dog cancer more in my life. I've never cared about dog cancer until it affected me in this one moment. Dog people in the room? Alright, dog people. It's a cat, she's got a cat, and it has cat cancer, and uh, <laughs> never wanted to cure cat cancer more in my life. Uh, this moment. Yeah, I just got, uh, I quit my life, I, uh, I got fired from my last job, I got fired. I got fired from the, I was working at the Boys and Girls Club, and I got fired uh, because they said I was dressing like inappropriately for the Boys and Girls Club, I guess. Uh, Alright, well here's what happened, okay, here's what happened, I, and I thought it was funny, but I came in on St. Patrick's Day and I was wearing a shirt, and I thought it'd be funny, but the shirt on the front, it said, um, uh, fuck me, I'm Irish. And then on the back, there's an arrow pointing to my butt, and it said, insert here. And they said, never wear that again to the Boys and Girls Club, and then I wore it again the next day, and they fired me, so... Just ignore that. Ignore that, too. Alright, almost done. I'll pick that up, actually. Yeah, alright. It's, it's a good symbol for what's happened in the last 10 minutes. That's good. Alright, that's good. Alright. I do live with my mom. I live with my mom. Uh, I grew up with a single mom. Did anyone else grow up with a single mom? You did? Yeah, you guys grew up with a single mom? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dad grew up with a single mom. Did you grow up with a single dad? Oh, so you're his dad, but he, you just came in tonight. That, this is the first night you guys are meeting. This is your reunion over dabs. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop with that shit. I gotta stop with that shit. So you grew up with a single mom, though. Okay. No, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm so confused right now, alright? If that's your dad, then how did you grow up with a single mom? I wasn't married to Gotcha, alright. So you were still in his life, though? Yeah. Okay, I guess that still makes... Dabs. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't good, but... 
you know, you guys liked it, so. I grew up with a single mom. It's weird growing up as like a guy, like uh, growing up with a single mom, because what do they tell you when you're when you're little? What do they tell you? They look at you and they say, uh, I need you to be the man of the house, all right? I need you to be the man of the house. And you know, you're like, all right, I'm 10, but that's, I guess, it's a fair request for a boy. But uh, here's what's ironic now, I'm 25, and I am a man, and I live in her house, and she doesn't like it, so I don't know what she wants. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> you guys are so great. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I give it up for hijinks. Give it up. Give it up. I would, the, the, the flashlight, the kids were lazy. You know, when I was 20, I just had my hand to lotion. That's all I needed. I didn't need no gizmos. This is all this. This is it. This is my flashlight. This and Jergens. I'm telling you, that's all you needed. You don't need that. I didn't steal, man. That's just lazy. By the time you ordered it, you got online, paid for it, ordered it, delivered it, used it, jacked off seven times. You know what I'm saying? That's. That's a waste. You have to just get it. Let it go, man. That flashlight waste. Plus, dishwasher safe. That's not cool, man. That's not creamer in your coffee. Oh! That's fucked up. I'm hand washing everything in my house from here on out. Fuck that. Which is, I'm fucking that, man. I'm just gonna wash it. I'm just. I'm even putting it in there, man. Uh, the next comedian come to the stage. Uh, this is my brother. Actually had the opportunity going on a tour with him a couple years back, and uh, he's still doing his thing. And it's odd to be on stage with him. Please put your hands together, Mr. Lance Edward. <laughs> Yeah, that was the Yeah, that's you learned that at the meeting. How y'all doing, man? I got my Talked about the flashlight. Hygiene said he just used his hand. Yeah. Fellas, y'all remember the first time y'all jacked off of Yeah. You see, <laughs> every male in here got nostalgic about being a lefty. Everyone's like, shit, man. I thought I fucking broke it. <laughs> I was usually the shit to come out and see the clear yellow. And this was not clear or yellow. I yelled. Ah! Oh my god, I'll never do this again. I swear to god. Do I need to tell somebody what the fuck just happened? Do I need to go tell my mom, hey, uh, something shot out of me? I don't know what the fuck happened. After 15 minutes of pure euphoric joy, I was at it again. I said, fuck it, that ain't bro. This shit work like a motherfucker. Oh Fucking dehydrated mess. <laughs> Every ounce of liquid in my body. <laughs> Weird, man. You know, but you know, when you single parent household, if you live in any household, you can't just jack off in your room. You probably didn't grow up with a lock on your door, so you gotta use the bathroom. My mom used to investigate and shit. It was uncomfortable. In the bathroom a long time. I needed to use the bathroom. I held it all day. I don't use it at school. Why it don't smell in here? Why are you asking so many questions? Why is the toilet seat up? Why are you so worried about the way I use the bathroom? I ran out of spray. Can we get some spray? It don't smell in here. You know what? Fuck this. It's too much. <coughs> You guys want to be your first job? <laughs> or not. It's all right. It's cool, man. It's a stoner show. I always expect, you know, at least a 35, 45 second delay for everything. 
especially with the dabs. That fucking shit is unfair. <laughs> that shit is damn near unnecessary, okay? The first time I, I, I was thinking about dabbing, because it took like four tries. It took legitimate four tries, because I'm not gonna lie, that blowtorch, it's a little crackish. It was a little bit uncomfortable. It was just like, fuck, why is there a blowtorch involved? I would have been so okay if it was just a normal lighter, but that, woof. Okay, now you know what, I'm out. <laughs> Second time, I saw somebody hit it. I said, oh, fuck no. No. Third time, I said, okay, man, everybody's chill and shit. All right, fuck it. Next time, I'll do it. So nobody told me you're not supposed to hold a dab. <laughs> nobody told me you're supposed to let it hit the bottom of your lungs and she explode out. It's like a jump shot. So I thought I was super. I been smoking blunts. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I've been taking bone grips for years. Fuck that. I'm ready for this. And they took a booger. I said, why is it so small? Like, I need more than that. They're like, oh, you. I said, you sure, man? This little booger don't get me high. I said, no, I'm so I took the blowtorch out, and I'm, I'm, I'm hopscotching back and forth for man. No, I'm not going to. This is so crackish. But I, I suffered through it, and it got white hot. I said, why is it going to be this hot? They said, no, just chill, all right? Put your lips on it. Hey. Hi! 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 It's not even a cough at this point. My body is forcing everything out. My body is just yelling. There's no call. TV and lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> and it felt like a bear trap kept going on over my head. <coughs> there was nothing over me, it was just my pillow, but for some reason I just kept hearing something over my head just go. And he get up and say, it's just weed. I need you to fucking relax. Get some water, you're okay. Sat down on the edge of the bed, I was cool. Laid back down on my back. What is wrong? It is just weed! I stared at shoe boxes all night, hoping they would start tap dancing. I stared at the uh, refrigerator, hoping food would be made. You high as fuck then. I just took the fucking frozen treats out, put it in the microwave, and stared for 30 minutes. And why is this taking so long? <laughs> it's fucking plugged in. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? <laughs> I 
said, fuck it, I go on the drive, fuck it. I was stopped at a stop sign for 45 minutes waiting for this to turn around. It's the longest light in fucking history. People coming up behind me, I'm fucking 420. <laughs> I'm happy it's just like this though for marijuana, man. Cause I thought when it first became illegal, it was gonna be like an uprising of people off color drugs. We need a meth dispensary. No, you fucking don't need a meth dispensary. There's no need for that. I've seen Breaking Bad. You don't need a home at all. I don't need to see a heroin dispensary. I'm totally fine with that. Walk in and just be a bunch of people nodded over and shit. Oh, we need a We need a place to be, baby. <laughs> you guys remember your first job, Ron Claus? Back to that. You guys remember your first job? What was your first job? I was cleaning myself. You were cleaning? Yeah. Oh, that, I was too young to have a job, so I cleaned on the side. That's a real fucking first job. Elbow grease and shit. What, what, was your, what was your first job? That's a fucking real first job, too. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the type of jobs to where, like, you don't eat fast food no more because you fucking work there and you know what they do. You see? Yeah, you lose, like, 25 pounds and shit. Like, no, I don't want no fucking McChicken. I work there. Hell no. I hate people to say, my first job I worked in fucking Old Navy. Fuck you. Everybody wanted to work in clothes as the first job. <laughs> you know, hook up to your friends. Everybody's going to come see you at least some point in the day with that bullshit fucking earpiece in, acting like you're security. My first job, I worked at Baskin Robin. Yeah, my first day was my.